国总统呢 ，Kennedy 对美国国内有很多重大的贡献，其中有一项是对民权运动的民权法案的批准，另外一个非常重大的一项贡献是他在国际里头和苏联不断的在古巴危机里头对话，最终达成了禁止核武测试条约。那么这个过程里头，长达前任的总统到他任内总共十七年的对话与努力，最后签署了相关的核武测试条约。这个核武测试条约就是使人类。不会进入所谓彼此毁灭性的核武战争，而就在 Kennedy 被刺杀是一九六三年十一月二十二号的前两个月，刚好是一九六三年的九月二十号的时候 ，Kennedy 就以此为主题，也就是人类绝对不可以自我毁灭，以和平为主题，在联合国发表了他在国际间最后的演说。For the first time in 17 years of effort, a specific step has been taken to limit the nuclear arms race. I refer, of course, to the treaty to ban nuclear tests in the atmosphere, outer space, and underwater, concluded by the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, and the United States, and already signed by nearly 100 countries. It has been hailed by people the world over, who are thankful to be free from the fears of nuclear fallout. The reduction of global tension must not be an excuse for the narrow pursuit of self-interest. If the Soviet Union and the United States, with all of their global interests and clashing commitments of ideology, and with nuclear weapons. Still aimed at each other today, can find areas of common interest and agreement. Then surely other nations can do the same. Nations caught in regional conflicts, in racial issues, or in the death throes of old colonialism, chronic disputes, which divert precious resources from the needs of the people, or drain the energies of both sides, serve the interests of no one. And the badge of responsibility in the modern world is a willingness to seek peaceful solutions. It is never too early to try, and it's never too late to talk.